Now we ask you about some prayer meditations. Bishop O.C. Lewis shall lead us in prayer. Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another wonderful day. You have blessed us to be in the land of the living. Amen. Good health, good strength, and mind to serve you all the days of our life. Thank you for our pastor and pastor, Bishop Belton Green, our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel, who's filling in for the sister, for the pastor. Thank you for the great work that he's doing, bringing forth the word of God. Souls are being saved. We pray that you'll continue that blessing. Let it flow into the Holy Temple Church. Oh, Lord, those out in Radio Land, when they hear this gospel, that they will repent from their sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Tarry, receive the good for the Holy Ghost. Live a holy and a sanctified life right down here in this present world. Pray that you've given the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy upon the sick, the afflicted, all that are oppressed of the devil. Send out that holy word and deliver. Rebuke the devil everywhere and set the captives free. He's blessed and in your great name. We give you the glory, we give you the praise. Amen and amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you, from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, the assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. What a great salvation. What a great salvation, what a wonderful way, since I met Jesus, ever since I then, what a great salvation, what a wonderful way. What a great salvation, what a wonderful way, what a great salvation, oh what a wonderful way, since I met Jesus, ever since I then. What a great salvation, what a wonderful way. Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord praise again. The Lord. Truly indeed again, we are very thankful, we are very grateful to God Almighty. As the song say, for such a wonderful, such a great salvation. And such a wonderful way. Realizing he didn't have to do it, but he did. And indeed, we are very thankful. We are very grateful. Thanking God again for our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Thanking God again for him allowing me this space. Come before you all in Raiderland, filling his stead once more. We are thanking God. I really enjoy that wonderful selection coming from the choir. Yeah. Tell you what you got to do. You got to pray. You got to fast. You got to knight your head for victory over here. My God, uh, let me tell you, I'm happy. I'm rejoicing. Yeah. My God, I, I tell the saints earlier, I say I'm, I felt like David. I say I see why David. David says his heart rejoice and his tongue get glad. My God, you know, this is a great salvation. Amen. This is a wonderful way. Yes, it is. I see after the apostle Paul fought it, and after he got in it, he tell the ones that are out there to you that are trouble, come rest with us. I'm saying it is a blessing to be in God's church. It is a blessing 
to be in God's church, after Paul got in it, he said, I count myself happy. Him, God, this will, you know, this will make you get happy. Paul test stood before King Agrippa and tell yes. him, I think myself happy. My God, when you get in God's church, you can't help but get happy about it. You can't help but feel good about it. Why? Because we are in what God set up. My God, this is what God set up. Man didn't set it up. Amen. But God Almighty set it up. Man wouldn't set up nothing like That's this. Right. But God Almighty, he, touching the mouth of the prophet, Daniel, Daniel chapter 2, Daniel saw the breaking out coming. Daniel chapter 2 and the 44th verse, Daniel said, yes. and in the days mm -hmm. of this king, shall the king of heaven, now go, shall the God, in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven. Shall the God of heaven. My God. Sometimes I do feel like running. I have to realize I'm at the mic. I can't run as I want to. But I did run up here earlier. I did dance up here. My God. Why are you so happy? Because I'm in what the God of heaven. Set up a kingdom. I'm in what God set up saints. You are in what God set up. That's why we're so happy. My God, I got happy tonight. The saints got happy tonight. My God, why? Because we are in what God set up. Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom? Hallelujah. Right, we are in what God set up. The God of heaven set up a kingdom. Set up a kingdom. It shall never be destroyed. Do you hear what the word of God said? It shall never, never be destroyed. When you get in what God set up, no power on earth can break it up. It shall never be destroyed. Get me another prophet. Get me the prophet Isaiah. So he says it shall never be destroyed. be destroyed. Isaiah 28, 16. Oh, I feel so happy to be in what God set up. You know, you don't need, you don't have to have money. It's something better than money. This is better than money. I God, Peter says, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I'm going to give. You know, this is better than money. Yes, it My is. God, it is better than money. When you get in God church, listen what the word of God say, Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 16. Therefore thus said the Lord God. Thus said the Lord God. Behold I lay in Zion. Oh, you know, God do, God make you love him. You can't help but love God. He's such a good God. Behold, I lay in Zion. For a foundation. For a foundation. A stone. A stone. A tried stone. A tried stone. A precious cornerstone. Hallelujah. It will try with debt. My God, but debt couldn't prevail against it. Took this thing out of debt. My God, robbed the grave of the victory. It went in the fire. But it came out of the fire. My God, a tri stone. Yes, a precious a stone. Pre you know, this is precious. A precious, precious corner, corner stone. stone. A sure foundation. Oh, this is sure. My God, a lot of things people going after is not sure. Amen. But when you get in God church, it is sure. A sure it foundation. It is sure. Foundation. Hallelujah. Peter said, we believe and we are sure. This is sure. Yes. I tell the world, this is sure. A sure foundation. foundation. He that believes shall not make haste. Oh, I believe I'm going to hang on in here. You can't help but hold on. My God, everything coming at you. Sometimes people say, you, Bishop, you act like you don't have no trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me tell you, when you get in the church, don't let nothing fool you. You better get me Matthew chapter 7 and verse 24. But whosoever 
yeah. hear it these same of mine, of mine and do it then. And you do it then. I would like him Hallelujah. unto a wise man. You was a wise man. Which built his house which upon the rock. Built his house up on the rock. And the rain descended. Oh, something coming at you. The rain descended. And the flood came. The flood coming at and you. The wind blew. The wind coming at you. The wind blew. And beat upon the house. Something gonna beat up on you. My God, but listen, beat up on the house. And it fell and not. And it fell not. For it's founded upon a rock. Oh, saints, let me tell you, when you're building the spirit, let me tell you, you're going to stand every test. Everything coming at you. But, you know, uh, Apostle Paul said, get me Romans chapter fifth chapter and verse one somebody said you look like you don't have any trouble but don't let the trouble get you down somebody said when life problem come your way hold your head up high and say hallelujah anyhow don't let the trouble get you down you can rejoice in your trouble oh, yes. do you hear what the man of god said in Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore be justified by be faith. Be justified by faith. We have peace with oh, God. we peace. In the midst of the trouble, we have peace. With God. My God, we have peace. We have peace. My God, uh, we have trouble on every side. But we have peace with God. Who are Lord That's Jesus your Christ. blessing, saints, to have peace with God. Just to know you have peace peace with God. My God, Peter was kept and put in prison, but Peter went on to sleep. My God, he had peace with God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Peace with Daniel God. Daniel was put in the lion den. Hallelujah. When Daniel knew the writing was signed, he didn't let it stop him from praying because he had peace with God. They put him in a lion den, but Peace with God. Yeah, to Hallelujah. our Lord Jesus Christ. To our Lord Jesus By Christ. Whom also we have access. We, we, we have access. By faith. By faith. Into this grace where we stand. Oh, hallelujah. Into this grace where we wherein stand. we stand. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. you hear what the word say? We, our hope got us rejoicing. In the hope That's of the glory of God. That's what makes we so happy. Our hope in God. We don't let nothing get us down. I don't care what it is. We're coming on back praising God. Hope. In God. Yes. Read on. Glory of God. Hey, read on. And not only so. Not listen to this now. You and want to know why we're so. so happy? We have trouble. But my God, not only so. We glory in tribulation my also. God, in the midst of the trouble. Hallelujah. We can rejoice in trouble. Because the hope got us rejoicing. We glory. And tribulation also. Never would love to get you to hang your head down. He would love to go around. And for you to go around feeling defeated. But in the midst of it. Apostle Paul said none of these things move me. Need a count of my life dear unto myself. We are going to glory. And tribulation. That's why we are so happy. I feel like running. I feel like shouting. I feel like praising God. My God, we glory. In tribulation. In tribulation also. also. Knowing that tribulation. Tribulation. Work it, patient. It working out something for you. It working out something for you. Work it. Patient. And patient experience. It giving you more. Ex the more you go through, the more experience you get with God. You see, when David went out to meet Goliath, they tried to talk him out of it. They say, you but a youth. But this man is, is a man of war from his youth. My God, but David say, this youth got some experience. Every test you go through, it gives you some experience. I kept my father's sheep, and there came up a lion. I got on a bear and caught one out of the flock, and I went after him. And when he rose up against me, I slew him. You see, he got some experience. So when he go for the bigger battle with Goliath, he said, he said, thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. 
And I experienced that. I conquered the king of the forest. But this uncircumcised Philistine ain't going to be just like one of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every test you go through, it gives you some more experience for the next test you're about to face. When you go through sickness, it builds you up for the next test you're about to go through. Just hold your confidence in God. Not only so. We glory in tribulation. Glory in tribulation. In tribulation. Knowing that tribulation. It's working out something. I'm rejoicing. I'm happy. I'm praising God. Tribulation. Hallelujah. I ain't gonna wait till the battle is over. I'm shouting in the back. I'm praising God in the back. We're coming out. We're coming out. Faith said we out already. We out already. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. We are praising God. I don't see nothing but victory. I don't see nothing but victory. Hallelujah. Tribulation. Work it patient. Work it patient. And patient and experience. patient. Every test you go through, it gives you some more experience for the next test you're about to go through. Read on, sir. Experience. Experience. Experience hope. Hope. Hope make it not ashamed. My God, you won't be ashamed. You're coming out. That's why your pastor Paul said, and we know, we know, not something, but all things. Work it. It's going to work. The devil for The good. thing that look bad, God can take that thing that look bad and bring good out of it. I don't see no failure in God. All things. Work it. All things. All things, not something, but all things, work together for good, for good to them, that, to love them the Lord. that love the Lord. It's a blessing to love the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. I call according to his purpose. Hold God, saints, you will come out. Ain't no failure in God. Ain't no failure in God. Go through that test. My God, with glory. And true. Well, and God. Yeah, you better touch me four times. Fail me quick. Get me Psalms 127 and 1. Hallelujah. They that trust in the Lord. Trust God, saints. I don't care how bad it look. Keep on trusting God. You will come out. Your way of escape already made. What is the Psalms? 125th Psalms and verse 1. They what? can trust in the Lord. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. Sometimes you don't know how you're coming out. Yes. But you go in trusting God. You go in trusting God. It put Daniel in the lion den. He can say, God who thou service, he will deliver you. Daniel went down trusting God. My God, they that trust in wherever you are. Trust God. Wherever you are, trust God. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion. Mount Zion. Which cannot be removed. Do you hear what the word of God say? Which cannot be removed. Cannot. 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 Cannot be removed. Jesus said, the wind come. The rain. Is yes. The flood come. Everything beating up on the house. But you're trusting in God. And by your trusting in God, he said, which cannot, cannot, cannot be moved, be removed, but abide forever. Oh, we're going to stand forever. Read on. As the mountain around about Jerusalem. Around about Jerusalem. Oh, the Lord is around about the, his don't, people. Don't bother God, people. God is round about his people. From henceforth, God is forever. round. You know, oh, fear and his army have to acknowledge. Do you know the Lord is fighting for these people? So the Lord. Yes, is round about his people. Round about his people. From henceforth, even forever. All right. Read on. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the My righteous. God, the wicked going to fight. Yes. But God said, no weapon not formed against us. 
gonna prosper. You see, I'm not gonna let it rest. Yes, I ain't gonna Find let it stand the against God's people and God fight for His people. You better let them alone. My God, may them say the people shall dwell alone. There won't be reckoned among the nation. God, people gonna stand. You're gonna stand against everything. You that are out there now. Apostle Paul said to you that our trouble come rest with us, not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. When they heard this, they were pricking their heart. Said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how you get in the church. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill you with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hear yourself speak in another tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance. God bless you. God keep you. You better call us up now. We can help you. Got people calling from all over. Lux Vegas City on the way here. Coming on up for the Utah, California. My God, wherever you get here, you better hurry up and get here. Call me from overseas, Kenya, many other parts, Ghana. My God, the people, they're coming on in here. God bless you. God keep you. Call us up right to us. And we'll be back next week, Lord. We're in the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call via WhatsApp at 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you is our prayer. Amen. Thank God. Say so rejoice. God will make you ashamed. So we thank God. I'm going to have to use this question cut off because you better get me one scripture. They already put the program up to let me see. Tomorrow night is the first night of the scene of Mission Week of service. So we got to use discretion. People are going to be back. But get me the scripture. Thank God for each and every one of you. Don't let your trouble get you down, saints. Rejoice. Rejoice. I don't care what you confronted with tonight. Uh, as they were singing it, Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 1 came to me. Deuteronomy 20 and 1. Praise God. You're going to face some backer now. Yes. But don't let the backer get you down. Amen. Rejoice. Rejoice. When thou goest, when thou goest out to battle against thy enemy, you're going to have to back your way through this against thine enemy. And seed horses and chariots. Chariot. And a people more than thou. More than thou. Be not afraid of them. Devil want you to be afraid, but don't let him scare you out this. My God, if he can make you afraid. Yes. My God, you know, first thing they say, we're not able. We're not able. We're not able. But David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Faith will make a tackle in the back. Why do they say? Be I'm, not afraid. Be not afraid. Yes, of them. Uh, uh, be not afraid. Of them. Of them. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Who is with us? The Lord thy God. Who is with us? The Lord That's thy God. That's what I want to leave with you, saints. When you're going out in your back, remember you're not going alone. Take the Lord your God with you. Yes. The Lord thy God is, is with, with thee, thee. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Read on. And it shall be. It shall be. When ye are come nigh unto the battle. Read on. That the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Read on. And shall say unto them. Say unto them. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. You approach this day to the battle. Read on. Against your enemy. Against your Let enemy. Let not your heart faint. The devil wants you to faint, you see. Yes. David said, I would have fainted. Yes. Unless I believed. To see to the see goodness, the goodness of, the of the Lord. 
Amen. In the life. If the enemy can get you to start faint oh, yeah. and start trembling, he get you. But he said, let not your heart faint. That's right. Read on. And it shall be when you are come down to the battle. Read on. That the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Read on. And shall say unto them, hear, Israel. Hear, Israel. You approach this day to the battle. Sometime you're going to head right on up to the battle. Against your enemies. But remember, Hezekiah said, there be more with us than with them. With them yeah. is who? An arm of flesh. But with us, the Lord our God, is the Lord our God to fight for us. Finish it up. Let not your heart faint. Let not your heart faint. Fear not. Fear not. And do not tremble. Do not tremble. Neither be ye terrified because of them. Don't let that terrify you. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you. You're not in the battle alone, saints. You're not in that battle alone. David say, cover up his head in the day of battle. God will shield you Amen. in the day of the battle. God say, you're going to be an enemy to your enemy. An and adversary an adversary to the adversary. To the adversary. Read on. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you. He that goeth with you. To fight for you against your enemies. To fight for you against your enemies. To save you. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Pray for me and I pray for you.